Let me just preface this by saying they both suck. They are both evil billionaires, etc, etc, and all the usual leftist rhetoric. But at least Elon has contributed somewhat and produced Tesla, which is surely assisting with reducing carbon emissions generally and specifically from private vehicle usage across the planet. So there are two themes here. Musk's initiatives and investment in Tesla's electric vehicle fleet have added real value in terms of productivity to the world economy and has helped reduce carbon emissions by providing electric vehicle options to the free market. What the fuck has Bezos done? Like honestly, let's look at this from an economic perspective, like real economic value production. Bezos does nothing but steal wealth from capitalists in the form of rents to use his distribution network Amazon, i.e. actual capitalists churn out products, real, tangible values added to the economy and then they are forced to trade on Amazon because it's now a necessity in order to do business in the 21st century. But wait, there's more. In order to sell their commodities on Amazon, they pay fealty to Lord Bezos. He takes a percentage of their profit, around 40%. Bezos gets a cut every time. That is a parasitic relationship. Think of a tick, a gargantuan one. But it doesn't let go once it sucked your blood. He doesn't produce value and add to GDP. He steals value from the capitalist class. Oh, I can't believe I'm defending capitalists. And what do you think capitalists do when they get squeezed by landlords or financial institutions? One, they cut investments in research and development, i.e. innovation. Like the one good thing about capitalists in the first place. Their desire to revolutionise the means of production, i.e. technology, it goes right out the window. And two, they then squeeze their employees to recoup the lost margins due to paying the monster that is Amazon. They cut wages and they cut jobs. Bezos is literally not just a drain on GDP, but the economy as a whole. He sits there and steals wealth from productive sectors in the economy. That's how he got so rich, by leeching off various industries and workforces around the world. And that is saying nothing about the appalling treatment of staff in fulfillment centres. How dystopian is that name? Like seriously, George Orwell is turning in his grave right now, wishing he'd been that creative with his language when writing 1984. Now some people are thinking, ah oh, yes, but mystery, Amazon produces its own products too, checkmate. But again, by nothing other than stealth and stealing, his global distribution network Amazon notices successful and up and coming small fry producers and then strategically cuts them out of the platform by stealing their inventive products and making an Amazon version of the same product just cheaper thanks to the whole scale of his operation. While you can argue that by doing this, knifing small businesses in the back by stealing their products because they are doing well on Amazon and making his own versions, by default he produces real value as well. Let me just say this, there is no innovation in that. This parasitic practice actually stifles competition by killing off businesses who create inventive products that consumers desire, arresting their profits and stopping them from competing. Competition is literally one of the core ideals, a commandment of this sacred free market system and Bezos commits this sin every day of the week through his juggernaut Amazon. At least capitalism exists to provide some market conditions for the production of real value in the economy. Elon has at least used his ridiculous and offensive wealth accumulation to give something back through the free market by producing environmentally ethical goods. Bezos' whole empire, the entire machine, just leeches off the productive value we make as a society. Like a cancer growing off an organism. No, actually, that's unfair to cancer. Cancer is an imbalance in the system and can be effectively treated. There is no treatment for a lord who just extracts rents of productive people. Rent seekers only survive of others' efforts and siphon wealth. As much as I think Musk is a stooge, he's done immeasurably more for the human race and the economy than Bezos has. 
the one silver lining in all of this is that at least Bezos, through the behemoth mechanism that is Amazon, has ironically proved one thing very convincingly, that a planned economy can work. Think of the scale of Amazon. It knows so much about users, global supply chains, and real consumer demand, we could take that machine and literally start planning the world economy thanks to him. He's proved something like socialism is just lurking around the corner. Hope he's ready for the revolution. When they say eat the rich, I know which one I'd be picking first off the menu. Not because of the taste, but because it makes sense. It definitely wouldn't be tasty. But it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Remember, I am, you are, we are a mystery.